at the Young Farmers Grand Prix and Rally for 2011. We're up in uh, Kinloss. Um, we're just doing the relay race at the moment. Um, we've been stock judging. Uh, we've done different sports, 400 metres, um, obstacle course, there's football eliminations, doing netball for the girls, and we're then doing uh, tug of war later on today. There'll be girls and boys teams for each. And how many people are here? Must be about 300 people here. Uh, these people staying overnight, camping at the night. There's a dance later on as well, so everybody will meet everybody else from up north and down south a wee bit. Rope making, I thought, was a dying art. It's been very well attended this year. The construction's always popular and uh, the stock judging was very well attended. I'm Rob Brown and just won the 100 metres sprint. The, well, won the, well, I came first in the heat and then first in the final. We've been doing a lot of the, the industrial things today, um, setting up displays that we'd obviously been baking for and making lots of different things. Um, I was doing the rope making as well for the girls team, which is a new skill to all of us. Um, just been learning that this year, so it's been quite good. Um, a way to do tug of war and other sports as well. Competitions and rallies have always been a cornerstone of the Scottish Young Farmers movement, but does it offer its 3,000 members anything more lasting? Being from a sheep farm myself, we haven't really got a chance to see a lot of cattle when I was being brought up. and uh, So we've gone to many different farms in Aberdeenshire and in Scotland and seen all different walks of life and different kinds of animals and you know, learnt a bit about all kinds of stock. And uh, you know, the people we're meeting at these stock, the stock judgings are uh, hopefully business contacts for the future and we'll, you know, we can stay trading. Um, the highlight for me, it would be stock judging. Um, you get such an opportunity to compete at different levels. So your, your club stock judgings, through to your local shows like the rally here and um, the highlight would be the Highland show for me. So it's the top of your game for stock judging as far as I think. If you're a, as you're a farmer, it's good for business because you get to know other folk with beasts and you get their crops and stuff. It's good that way. But for myself, I mean, the folk, folk I know, I get homers out of them for sparking, and kind of get little homers, I wear a sock in the shed. It's good for me that way. Well, I've probably learned lots of stuff about life. <laughs> Organising so many events, just organisation skills must be a lot better than what they were um, beforehand for young farmers. Organising barn dance, uh, being a secretary of the club, just different roles with treasurer as well. So learnt a lot of things through banks and different things that you didn't know before. So. Would you recommend it? Definitely, definitely. Best thing I ever did. I would certainly say anyone that was, had slightest interest in countryside even, come along and join in and see what there is to, to do. There's a lot more than just farming. But despite the members' enthusiasm, the movement is in financial trouble and has made substantial losses in recent years. So why? Some bad budget and business decisions and just uh, input costs going up all across the board increases. So we have made some significant cuts, we've dropped some competitions, rebudgeted everything, we made a member of staff redundant to try and cut costs as well. We've now done that and last year went to a minus seven uh, loss, this year we are on a plus. There's still a lot of work to do yet, we do receive some uh, funding from such parts as sponsorship and the, gov the Scottish Government. There is no guarantee we'll get this funding uh, in the future, so we need to build up a, a steady base for the rest, of the, for the, the next generation of young farmers to come. But whatever happens to the national organisation, there's enough enthusiasm at local level for individual clubs to survive. After all, it's widely recognised as Scotland's very successful rural dating agency. I, I definitely met my girlfriend through young farmers, but. Uh, it's great to meet new people, definitely. Yeah. It, it is part and key of the association. That there has been a lot of uh, marriages and babies come out of the association. There's an aspect to that too. I mean, if you have a lot of um, young people, it's a great way of meeting people. So it could be seen as that sort of a dating agency as well, definitely. Nancy Nicholson for Farmers Weekly at the Young Farmers Grampian Rally.